Well, I want to put this video out as a method whereby you will never have to buy batteries again. Uh, virtually not have to ever buy them again. And that is if you have this Bedini Renaissance rejuvenator battery charger that will desulfate and condition the, the batteries as they are recharged. Uh, it's a lot of times they advertise, you know, these are these are batteries that are Tenergy, these are nickel cadmium batteries. They hold the charge a long time. Um, I'm charging them right now on this device using setting number four because you can see it right there, 4D cells. Uh, the first setting is for nickel cadmium. You can see the NICD. Um, that and using a little magnets. When this light goes to green, these are fully charged. I just got them uh, in now. I got a dozen of them, as a matter of fact. Uh, I'm going to use them in my mag lights, uh, my regular lights, uh, flashlights. I use these in my cameras, my other flashlights. I have about I don't know about 25 of these high quality ones. These are nickel. These are uh, Nikon cool pick uh, batteries. These are door cells. But many times, I also have loads of these uh, different brands of these. Uh, these aren't really strong ones. These are 8.4 volts. Boy, I really love these things. These were really powerful. Uh, the titanium 260, 9.6 volts. Um, but when I'm using that Bedini charger, it's actually restoring the hell out of these batteries and they're more powerful than when they were I was using them previously I could tell because the equipment I've been using it on uh, I estimate that even if I recharge these batteries every two weeks which I don't think I will I will get the thousand recharges out of them and that is about what 38 years worth of use so virtually you will never ever have to buy batteries again this charger is, I'm not a marketer for it, but I'm totally sold on this. This product's been out for eight years. It's just that it's not well known. It'll charge um, the power tools. The power tools, you can see right here. Uh, this is uh, nickel cadmium, nickel metal hydride. Uh, the 18 volt, the, the 14.4 volt. It'll uh, charge for small tw 12 volt batteries. Uh, the, the lead acid, it depends on the setting. You have uh, lead acid over here. You have... Um, Nickel, um, excuse me, metal, nickel metal hydride in the middle. That's the setting. And here you have nickel uh, cadmium. Uh, I chose nickel cadmium because of very low self discharge rate. I'm going to use this as my survival flashlights with my mag lights and um, with the LED bulbs so they should last an extremely long time. Uh, so basically, you'll never have to uh, buy batteries again virtually uh, because. You're talking decades of use out of batteries. Usually what happens is the battery chargers kill the rechargeable batteries. That's why people are actually re writing reviews sometimes. Oh, these batteries didn't freaking last but a couple months. Well, uh, with that Bedini charger, that thing, recharger, rejuvenator, reju uh, universal, they will last. They're going in both my mag lights. That's basically what I got 12 of them for. I'm charging four right now. I could charge four at a time. They're going in both my three battery mag lights with the LED bulbs in them. Uh, these have LED bulbs, and uh, this has is a mil spec, an old mil spec for a flashlight with an LED bulb. It's going in there, and this is a just a Rayovac or something. Um, but I'll tell you one thing, you know, I have this for preparation, preparation type stuff. You want to have batteries that always work, but you know, the important thing is that um, you want to have batteries that you can recharge. Um, I'm not going to tell you to recharge uh, batteries that are not designed to be recharged, but I have done that with uh, the Rayovacs. Um, didn't put them on a the charger that long. I was surprised. I had one one battery. Uh, it was like a triple A, not a double A like this. It was hit zero volts. I actually had to hit the manual button in the back of that Bedini charger to get it going. And uh, the resting voltage here a few days later is still 1.4 volts. It still works great in a flashlight and stuff. Um, I don't know how well it would work long term, but that was pretty surprising when I thought a battery was totally dead. It came right back, even though it wasn't even a rechargeable. Like, wow, you're not supposed to use that charger for that type of device, that type of thing. But I guess it could be used in a pinch if you're careful and you're monitoring the voltage and the heat on the battery. Uh, yesterday I put out about the um, my Opti 500 power supply because it puts out a pure sine wave. Uh, this device here requires a pure sine wave to operate. In other words, pure, nothing special, just your household electrical current. 
but if you're trying to run a generator you're not supposed to run this device off a generator because uh, with a generator backup power because that's a modified sine wave but if you put your um, pure sine wave uninterrupted power supply plugged into the generator and when it, what comes out of that uninterrupted power supply is pure sine wave then you can run this great survival tip um, to me it's not just a survival tip you will blow the money on batteries over time period no doubt no 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 uh, doubt about it because eventually you know you're you don't realize what you're using them for you're using them for uh, your little fire alarm things you can you put rechargeables in there you can just recharge them with this and when it, the green light goes on it's fully charged as a matter of fact the batteries have a higher capacity than standard in most cases and I've noticed this very much so when I was using these devices so I have uh, just ordered these batteries I'm probably gonna order um, one thing I was not ever gonna get was a um, uh, was it call it a portable power tool portable drill I'm actually gonna pick one up with uh, I think the nickel cadmium nickel metal hydride batteries versus the lithium uh, because the problem is with these portable drills um, the batteries when they wear out it, to replace the battery it's almost as much money as a, a new drill so you wind up buying a whole brand new drill and stuff you know with the portable drills um, but when I have this charger it has the settings on it where I could charge it properly and it'll actually have more of a charge in the beginning even when I'm when it's fully charged you have more capacity and every time you recharge the battery probably in many cases in many cases it actually makes it stronger and stronger and stronger this technology is not well known this device has been out for eight years it's been not heavily marketed and you know what the battery companies are in cahoots with the battery charger companies most of the time the battery chargers kill your batteries this will not this will not um, basically it's got these little neodymium magnets that are holding these batteries together so you can use it for a number of different applications in other words if you have a couple contacts on a battery and you're wondering how to put these alligator clips on it all you have to do is put the neodymium tiny little neodymium magnet on the alligator clip and stick it on appropriate positive and uh, negative electrode and uh, use the appropriate setting it has all the li all the listed right here for your three types and that's uh it's my dad back there in the military uh, <laughs> but uh, you have uh, nickel cadmium nickel metal hydride and lead acid so you just look up whatever type it is and you look up the voltage and it tells you exactly w what setting to start it on and when the green light goes when the green light comes on or initially it charges with a red light when the green light comes on it's good so I figure these batteries will, even if I used them and I recharge them every two weeks um, on all of them, which I know I'm not going to be doing it that much, 38 years worth of use is what I expect out of this at least. So what does that virtually mean? Never buy batteries again. So it can be done. And I also want to say something else. I'm not a marketer for these guys. I'm just like freaking look for stuff that, you know, gives people the freaking best advantage. I notice things like most people will not spend 300 bucks plus $30 for shipping or $27 for shipping, whatever it is. Um, but you, if you start taking your little calculator out, because I'm an accountant, and you realize what you throw away on batteries um, over the next few years, um, you'll recoup a good, a good part of that. And also, if you are somebody that uses power tools, and um, they have to recharge those battery packs. It costs you like 50, 60 bucks that, you know, if you break one of those, they wear out. Well, you're definitely going to pay for this pretty damn quick. So, it, it, you know, I've, I've already totally sold on it. You'll never have to buy batteries again. I'm not going to ever buy batteries again. I'm not. I'm not. These batteries will suffice. I'm just going to get whatever else I need. I think I got some more flashlights out there. I think this is three, three, that's six. Um, they have another one of these. Um, I don't know if I have anything else out there that I need, but, uh, you know, I'm here to fight for the people, right? <laughs> the old Mossberg 500, man. I'm standing by. I'm ready there to fight for the people. Um, I'm basically somebody's not going to knuckle under any kind of pressure from, uh, 
you know, engineers trolling around the internet. Um, there's good engineers and bad engineers. There's engineers working for the battery companies telling you all these things won't work. But I'll tell you one thing. This does work. It's been out on the market for eight years. Also, they're going to be coming out. I got the, uh, the car charger coming. And also, they're going to be having the um, solar-powered battery maintenance chargers coming, which is the big Achilles heel of solar power. We do have free energy. It's called the sun. You know, the sun is free. The big problem is the freaking battery packs that's involved in solar power. Not not the solar panels. Yeah, they're expensive, but you know what? The battery the batteries do not the battery management, they do not last as long as they should. You wind up replacing them, you wind up doing things with them and um, you know, Bedini's gonna have something out probably within a year on that deal. And um, I'll be checking into that too. There is free energy out there. It's called the sun. We already got that. The problem is the batteries, and it uh, looks like Bedini's uh, got the answers. So anyway, in the meantime, you really don't have to buy batteries again if you can afford this thing. Um, the price actually dropped from a couple, I think a couple years ago it was 370 I was looking at this for a while, and I was wondering how good it was. Um, but man, when I got it, I was like, holy smokes, man. I, I wish I got this years ago. I would have actually... With all the freaking batteries I went through, over with flashlights and zappers and um, my other portable devices and stuff, I would have paid for this damn thing already if I bought it a couple years ago. Duh. Anyway, so, you know, duty, duty arithmetic, you know, sometimes like as an accountant, I always get surprised when I'm adding up numbers. I'm thinking, wow, how does all these little numbers add up to that big number down there? Well, they do. They always surprise me. And that's what happens when you're constantly buying a couple best of battery packs here and there for 10, 20 bucks. Yeah, you want this. You want that. You'll it, The battery, rechargeable batteries will last much, 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 much longer. And it does pretty much any damn thing out there.